In 2021, fire departments in the United States alone responded to approximately 1.35 million fires, and the property damage caused by fires is estimated at tens of billions of dollars. But the most important thing is to save people in time. For this purpose, a Czech architect who survived a fire developed a shield extinguisher that not only serves as a more intuitive method of extinguishing fires, but also provides protection on the way to the emergency exit. It can be operated with one hand and has a capacity of up to 6 kilograms of extinguishing powder, depending on the model. In addition, the shield is designed to be aesthetically pleasing compared to fire extinguishers, and thanks to its large size and bright color, it is easier to find. Furthermore, at only 9 centimeters thick, it can be easily mounted in tight hallways. The shield extinguisher is priced at $874. That's a small step for man, but a giant leap for fashionistas. Meet the Wahoo sneakers. They stand out from competition by being smart. The app gradually collects data about the wearer's walking style and adjusts the cushioning accordingly, ensuring maximum comfort. The soles even have mini cylinders to pump air, providing up to 2.5 bar of pressure. For comparison, the pressure in a soccer ball varies usually from 0.8 to 1. These sneakers are perfect both for jogging and running errands, eliminating the need for constantly changing shoes. You can also brag about your progress in the app. The design is unisex, and the package includes a wireless charging platform and lifetime access to the app and a closed Facebook group where you can share your wishes and suggestions with the designers. The price starts at $209. The answer to long ladders and bulky sectional sticks, write the creators of the Cranky Zip Stick System. It's made for hunters, but it could also come in handy if you have a treehouse. With a couple of simple movements, the one meter long frame is stretched to about twice its original size. The system is firmly fixed on steel cables and can withstand up to 136 kilograms of load. To prevent the system from being stolen, there's a padlock feature. It's made of aluminium and is ideal for those who like to hunt from tree stands, which are mobile platforms for hunting from the trees. The only problem might be the price, $164. There is a lot of work in warehouses too. It's not a surprise, given that the size of Amazon warehouses, for example, varies from 50 to 100,000 square meters. So, Smart assistants are not a luxury, but a necessary upgrade that can reduce costs by about 40%. This robot works autonomously and carries loads up to a ton. Instead of a head, it has a 14-inch touchscreen with intuitive controls. Inside the robot, there's an AI and 3D vision system and a laser scanner to ensure the robot doesn't collide with employees or cause damage to boxes of goods. And if something goes wrong, there are big red emergency stop buttons on the side. One charge lasts eight hours, and it takes an hour to replenish the power supply. At the moment, the creators of the robot are offering to apply for a pilot program, so the exact price is still unknown. The designers of this projector claim it's a perfect combination of beauty and performance. Essentially, it's like an advanced touchscreen, with a camera equipped with AI options tracking your finger or stylus touches. The projector runs on Android 9, making it easy to use as a movie theater or an office PC. 
For the latter scenario, there are special projection screens available in sizes from 29 to 85 inches that don't require special lighting or other parameters in the room. The lamp life is 30,000 hours, and the projector promises a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and compatibility with all popular devices, including games consoles such as the Nintendo Switch, Apple TV, and smartphones. Additionally, the projector weighs just 1.3 kilograms, making it easy to carry in a backpack or hold in one hand. Shipment to customers is scheduled for September of this year, with prices starting at $610. Modern exercise bikes are amazing and offer incredible features such as advanced analytics, virtual worlds like Zwift, competition modes, and affordable prices. However, the feeling's not quite the same as riding a real bicycle. The MOVE team sought to create a more realistic experience, and the result of their work is already on your screen. The British company offers Frames in different sizes to accommodate specific riding styles, such as road cycling. Patented handlebars and the need to move your whole body to keep your balance. And electronic gear shifting and braking. The bike is Bluetooth and Ant Plus compatible, with a built-in power meter and a system that adjusts resistance when ascending and descending, making it perfect for use in Zwift. The rider's position is recorded a thousand times per second, which makes training effective and allows you to upgrade not only your body, but also your riding technique. For now, those interested in purchasing the bike are placed on a waiting list. Prices start at $4,700. It would be interesting to see this exercise machine paired with augmented reality glasses. We already have a candidate. It weighs only 59 grams and works with game consoles like the Nintendo Switch and PCs. Two speakers embedded in the temples are responsible for the audio. The glasses are comfortable to wear, even over regular glasses. The maximum resolution is 3840 by 1080. Gamers will be pleasantly surprised by the possibility of connecting two pairs of glasses to one console at once. According to the manufacturers, they've already supplied more than 15,000 different AR headsets and have worked with such business giants as Singapore Airlines and T-Mobile. The team has managed to raise more than $220,000 on Indiegogo alone. The price for one pair starts at $450. While unmanned cars often make headlines, unmanned water vehicles are just as impressive, yet often overlooked. For example, this unmanned boat will come in handy for researchers. Although it only reaches a speed of 22 km per hour, it can operate autonomously for up to 25 days. The standard version is compatible with the GNSS satellite navigation system, works with Wi-Fi and LTE, and comes equipped with several cameras. A special rail system allows customers to quickly install additional equipment, such as a winch or scientific instruments. The boat is 9 meters long and can be controlled from a mobile station on shore or from another vessel. Aside from scientists and ecologists, the boat will be of interest to the military, as the company claims that it can help to ensure the safety of ports and harbors. Speaking of unmanned vehicles, Chinese auto giant Xpeng showcased an amazing invention at the Jitex Global 2022 exhibition in the UAE. It's a flying car with vertical takeoff and landing, designed to carry two people. One charge provides a flight time of about 35 minutes, with a maximum speed of 130 km per hour. The model measures 5 by 4.8 meters and is equipped with parachutes in case of emergency. 
According to news reports, the manufacturers have already received permission to fly from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, or the CAAC, and deliveries are set to begin next year. The last known price was $148,000. Does it mean it's time to get a universal visa and become a flying cab driver? We live in a world with flying cars and drones, where solar panels are cleaned by robots and exercise bikes are more technologically advanced than cars. But when it comes to ironing, we still rely on the old-fashioned way, taking out a board, turning on the iron and starting to work. The creators of EFI decided to change this. They offer a cabinet-shaped system that combines ironing, drying and steaming. Simply hang up everything you need to iron and EFI automatically detects the type of fabric and adjusts the temperature. The system can handle up to 12 garments at once, with 3 minutes needed for ironing and 6 minutes for drying. The only problem is that the device can't iron wool or cashmere and has an impressive size of 128 by 180 centimeters. The estimated preliminary price is $900 which may be too steep for many of us. Thought it was a giant PS5 console, jokes one viewer. Sci-fi enthusiasts are familiar with the term Esper, which refers to someone with paranormal abilities. It's no surprise then that Esper Bionics, a company with a fitting name, offers an incredible product, a bionic robotic arm. And that's just the beginning. The team has plans for a robotic leg and then body implants for enhancing physical abilities. It may sound like something out of a video game, but this technology is very real. The robotic arm has 288 parts, up to 16 sensors for the forearm, shoulder and chest, and features machine learning and artificial intelligence. For now, these prosthetic devices are individually assembled, but mass production is planned for this year and there's every reason to expect success. Not for nothing, this robotic arm made it into Time's list of the 200 best inventions of 2022. Back in 2016, Japan's Ministry of Agriculture made headlines with its plan to replace retiring farmers with robots. At that time, the average age of farmers was estimated at 67 years, so robots would definitely come in handy. Fast forward to 2023, and a Japanese robot designed for harvesting has made an appearance at the CES trade show. Let's take a closer look at it. It picks peppers with millimeter precision, and leaves are no problem for it. It uses a combination of cameras and a patented AI algorithm for navigation and maneuvering. In addition, the robot can predict the harvest, determine the degree of maturity of peppers, and show how many days each pepper needs to ripen. With a price tag of less than $10,000, this robot is significantly cheaper than many of its competitors, which typically cost six to seven times as much. Here's another innovative development from Japan, an unusual wheelchair from Honda. It's controlled similarly to a hoverboard, with the user leaning forward to go forward and backward to slow down. The wheelchair offers 360-degree free movement and a unique feature that raises the seat for a more comfortable conversation with someone. Posture sensors track the user's body position, and a stabilization controller maintains safe angles. You can also change direction by pushing off a wall or furniture using your hands. And, since both hands remain free, the user gets a lot more options, including playing go-karting VR and AR games. The wheelchair has been undergoing demonstration tests since 2022, but it's unclear whether it will be mass-produced.
Imagine planning a family picnic, a beach day, or a camping trip. You need to pack everything from food and water to toys and sunscreen. But carrying it all in bags can be tiring, and backpacks can jumble and crumple your items. Tossing things into the trunk of your car in a pile isn't an option either. And while some people suffer, others find a way to make money. What do you think of this cargo monowheel, which can hold 91 kilograms? It features a storage system inside the wheel and a top part that can double as a table. The design resembles a mini road roller and will confidently roll over rocks. Made of special foam, it won't get bogged down in sand or be affected by accidental debris. The empty cart weighs 11 kilograms, and if you're wondering how many cans it can hold, the answer is 48. The price is $300. Some of the most popular cars in the world are sedans like the Toyota Corolla and pickup trucks like the Ford F-150. But Citroen has its own plan. They offer the compact electric car the Citroen My Ami buggy. It has been so successful that last year, the first 50 units were sold out online in less than 18 minutes. The characteristics of this successful model are modest. A top speed of 45 km per hour, a range of 75 km on a single charge, an 8-horsepower electric motor, and an off-road style design. Even the doors have been removed. At the moment, the price on the official website starts at $10,000. In some countries in Europe, you can ride this car from age 14 or 15 because it's technically a quad bike. This concept, developed by a German designer, offers something similar. This minimalistic vehicle with a built-in tent is naturally designed for outdoor activities. Airless tires, folding seats, luggage modules, and all-wheel drive. What else do you need to be happy? The US alone has more than 293,000 kilometers of railroads. Some see this figure as a transport and economic opportunity, while others see a chance to make a positive contribution to the environment. Meet Green Rail, railroad ties made from tires, plastic, and other waste with built-in solar panels. Let's check out some numbers. Laying 1,670 ties, which is about a kilometer of railroad track, helps recycle 35 tons of waste. That kilometer of ties is capable of producing about 35 megawatt hours of energy, enough for 10 households. And track maintenance costs would fall by a factor of two or two and a half with these ties. Another eco-friendly rail project with a vision of tracks is offered by the Sunways system. These are solar panels that can be installed on about 50% of all tracks in the world. They have come up with a special train for installation, which has already upgraded a test section of track in Switzerland, and the team plans to reach the US, Australia, and Asian countries. Continuing the theme of green energy and ecology, it's worth noting that the total capacity of all solar panels in operation in the world was 760 gigawatts in 2020. While this sounds promising, the problem is that solar panels require regular cleaning. Luckily, robots can do it. For example, the Ecopia T4. These robots got a tough job. Their first commercial deployment was in the Middle East. To protect the panels from sandstorms and dust, a hundred robots were sent to work at night. 
They don't need water to clean because they use a combination of air streams and microfiber cloths. Moreover, the robots are able to operate fully autonomously in temperatures of up to 60 degrees Celsius and winds of up to 44 meters per second. Are you looking for a reliable, predictable, affordable, and most importantly, renewable energy source? You may have already seen it, because we're talking about waves. The Wave Roller System, developed by a team in Finland, harnesses the power of the ocean. According to the official website, the system has the following advantages. Up to 1 megawatt of power from a single unit. The ability to work in shallow water as deep as 8 meters, making it suitable for coastal areas. And the possibility to mount units on the bottom of the sea. The system generates energy by using the motion of the waves to move a blade, which in turn rotates a cylinder to create pressure and start the generator. Overall, this is one of the most advanced solutions in the industry. It has already attracted attention in the EU, so investment in the project and its development should not be long in coming. This eye-catching device, resembling a hand made of bananas, is actually a serious project developed by a team in the US. It has been designed to help people who have difficulty controlling their muscles. A special thread enables the yellow fingers to feel touch, and they contract thanks to air pressure, allowing the user to pick up objects such as a soda can with confidence. Making these devices is relatively simple. Ordinary silicon tubing can be used as a base, and the user simply needs to specify how everything should move. From there, an autonomous printing machine takes care of the rest. As part of the experiment, the team has also created a sleeve that allows for bending of the knee and elbow, and plans to explore new forms in the future. The device can be used both separately, such as in the form of a glove, and as a component of an exoskeleton, which is part of the team's future plans. According to statistics, it can take three to five months to build a one-story apartment building. This means that workers have to spend many hours on their knees, and other tasks such as installing tile flooring put the knee joints under considerable strain. In order to reduce the risk of various diseases and to make the work more comfortable, a German company has invented this mini chair. It positions the hip and ankle at the right angle and also provides comfort for the back, neck and shoulders. The chair weighs 1.8 kilograms and is made of aluminium. It's equipped with straps for securing legs and special inserts are available to protect the surfaces from scratches. The price for this product is $40. The Taiwanese giant MSI is well known among computer aficionados for regularly pushing new boundaries, such as overclocking DDR4 RAM to 7,156 MHz. Now, they presented this device on Kickstarter. The idea is simple. Why not use your feet to work or play? MSI created a foot pedal with three customizable buttons, which you can combine any way you want. Up to four pedals can be used on a single computer, allowing you to feel like an organ player and reducing strain on your fingers. The pedal has a latency of about 100 milliseconds and comes with built-in RGB backlighting, and the company guarantees a lifespan of at least 10 million presses. The company reminds us that it's been one of the leading manufacturers of PCs, laptops and accessories for 35 years, so, this pedal is priced appropriately at $150. The medical field is not lagging behind either. 
Some time ago, the public was amazed by the Da Vinci robotic surgical system. But today, even cooler technologies are being developed. Designers from Switzerland offer surgical tools with magnets that take the desired shape right inside the body. These tools can be inserted through a narrow catheter, which reduces the need for extensive incisions on the patient and opens up new horizons for minimally invasive surgery. Some parts of the tools are 3D printed, which allows for easy adaptation, such as adding cameras or manipulating objects. The invention has been named Marso Chain, which stands for Magnetic Soft Robotic Chains, says the company. By combining this innovation with robotics, medicine will take another step forward.